Hi guys, it's me Karen and I've come back for part two of this picture here. What we are doing is... <laughs> here we go. This is the original one I did in 2018 and I am coloring it again just to see how my coloring has changed, my coloring style, and to see how they are going to turn out different. So I show the beginning of what that one looked like and um, we've already worked a little bit on her skin tone. We have not finished it but um, we did do a little bit of work on it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is add um, some more kind of pink tones, a little bit of blush to her cheeks, her lips, maybe around her forehead, her shoulder type areas and uh, see how far we get on that. We are using the luminance pencils for the skin tone on top of a pan pastel base. So in part one you will see everything that was done right here in front of you. <laughs> done in part one and now we're doing a little bit of uh, the part two. So the color I have right now is a crimson a yeah. Alizarian or something. So it's A L I Z A R N. The number of the pencil is 589. And it's a nice dark uh, kind of red color, almost the exact color that's on the back of this. And we're going to add a little of that um, into her lips. I am going to have to pause this for a moment. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, my neighbor is selling her house and is moving. <laughs> and uh, the big truck out there is making a lot of noise, so... that I would pause it so you wouldn't have to listen to that. So we're adding the color here onto her lip. And her upper lip here too. I could probably get you down a little closer to that so you can see what's going on there with the color. So how are you all doing today? Got all sorts of fun things, sarcastically saying, going on in my neck of the woods. So we're just trying to stay positive for the most part. a little bit more color to her face. I want to kind of keep this part light and then we'll take that line out there. We're also going to add some of this um, up here on her cheek and a little over on this side. I'm holding the pencil way back again, just to putting on a light coat. Add a little down here too, and then bring them together with a lighter color. Add a little up here in her forehead. And a little down here on her shoulder. I don't know if you can see that. Just in that area. Okay, then we will go back with um, a lighter skin color. 
What we got here is the burnt ochre, 10%. And we're just going to blend that over the pink we put down. Okay, then we will get uh, out another color here. Mm, one of these colors I got. Not to uh, figure out <laughs> if I want a kind of a purple color or a lighter pink. I'm going to go in with the purple, and we'll see. It's an ultramarine pink is what it's called. It's fun when you're doing skin and you're trying to get it a little pink and you think you may have gone over a little too pink and then you try to go back to the brown and then you get it. <laughs> it's just a lot of layers going down here. Okay, we will try the... This is... Oh, wow. And throw quinoid pink. I did uh, change this up a little bit when I was off camera. I forgot to uh, shadow her arm here, so I did put a little shadowing in there. There we go. And then I'm going to bring some buff titanium up here and lighten that cheek up a bit.
Okay. So that's what we got there. We'll lighten this up a little here too. And I think that looks pretty good. So I'll quit playing with that part. <laughs> I'm going to bring in a, a little Prisma White. Just add a little white here. Okay, we're going to bring in a little Posca White up here too just on the top of her lip. Kind of get rid of that black line there. Okay, we're going to take in the pencil that we used earlier for the uh, lips. Crimson. Alice. <laughs> It'll be down in the description box. Just going to lightly go over the white. Add some color on there. Just takes out the black line there for us. bring in a black pencil. I want to get a really sharp point on that. We're going to add some lines on the lip. So we want to darken down here a little bit. Then we'll bring up some lines. Same down here, we'll bring up some. over it with the red again. And that's looking okay. We're going to go in with uh, the lightest skin color here I have, which I think is a 10%. And we're going to go over that white line just a little bit more. Just very lightly. Okay. Let's see. We're going to work on. Um, flowers down here. We're going to bring the same colors down into the flower that we did on the, the lip there. I need to sharpen that out. We're just going to do some work where the shadows are on the flowers. So like down in here it's really dark. Then coming up here a little bit. So we're just going to darken that up a little bit. Same in here. So again, this is a light touch where you can put some pressure in where it's black 
and then just very lightly bring it out into the pastel. We put some of the, what was it, red tint on this, just really lightly. Everywhere there's dark gray in here. And then bring the color out a little bit. I had to pick the biggest flower to do this on, didn't I? <laughs> I should have picked the smaller one. So every little petal we're going to do this on. Just follow those little gray lines. So you can kind of see it coming to life here. Okay, let's go on the other side now. <laughs> She's trying to cover all the gray lines with some color. Turn the page a little bit. <laughs> This is the last petal here. Okay, and you can tell the difference between this one and this one. We're going to bring in, go away you guys, <laughs> the ultramarine pink. Nice easy one to say. I'm going to go over the color we just put down. I want to leave some white space so don't cover the whole thing.
So what are you all coloring? Hope it's something fun. Okay, it's getting there. And we're going to do this on, uh, you only have two of the big flowers and then we have a few of the buds we're going to have to do too. I'm going to bring in a little bit of I want another soft pink or red or something. What do we got in here? I think I have all the pinks out. I don't know. I know I have a soft pink in another set. The uh, Shapiro Farben. <laughs> I was trying to say these last night. I was doing, uh, one of my subscribers had asked um, if I could do a comparison with the new colors in this set and the castle arts. And so I sat here uh, trying to figure those out. And of course when I was uh, typing it, I had my daughter help me out with that. Make sure this is the light color I wanted. I think it is. Okay, this is um, uh, Blooming Bouquet, but it's number 268 by the uh, Shapiro Farben. And I was <laughs> saying it kind of like, um, well, at least she said. <laughs> you sound like the uh, Muppet Chef. Shreebin Farben. <laughs> I can't pronounce it very well. <laughs> so we were having a little fun with that last night. So it's a nice soft pink. Let's see how these two play together. We're going to want the edges of this flower to be white. That's why I'm trying not to get those too much. So if you um, go to the video I did where I was using these pencils, I can't even remember what it was. I was either showing you uh, the pencils and doing a um, swatching video or something in the comments I had left the closest colors I could find in the castle art set to go with the new colors that are in this set. Okay. That's looking all right. I'm going to bring in the um, Prismacolor and keep these little areas white. Just kind of go over them. A little green in them, that's okay. A little white. Just going to kind of blend over that a little bit.
blend those colors together. Definitely should have picked a smaller flower. <laughs> Look at you guys a board. But I mean, it's kind of like the way the flowers are done. Okay. And then I'm going to... Did I take out all the colors I had out earlier? This one is the uh, Crimson Aubergine. I'm going to sharpen it up too, and then we'll add some of that in there too. Just kind of bring out some of those lines. And deepen that color a little bit in the petal. So we'll take it here, break the tip, that's always good. Pull out some lines. Just kind of going over it again where it's the darkest and bring that color up. I'm kind of going after uh, not seeing the gray. Covering it up with the colors. the black lines either <laughs> but you're gonna have to see something So 
So, just going over everything again. It'll make a pretty flower at the end. <laughs> we just have to get to the end. Okay, now we all we have to do is kind of blend it a little bit better together and I'm looking for the Caran d'Ache blender that I have out here somewhere on my desk. Honest I do. I just have to find it. So hold on a moment. All right, I just had to get a, a new one out, move these guys over a little bit, and we're just going to bring it in here. And blend everything. And break down the tooth of the paper at the same time. And um, if you're wondering, I did put this in my pencil sharpener and <laughs> sharpened it. I like the um, pointed edge instead of a, because it comes like this with the uh, square tip on the end. Brush that off. And I'm going to look at it to make sure I got most of it blended. Pretty sure I did. 
But you can see better than me. I will have to play with it when I can get a little closer to it, but that's basically what we are doing. And if you want to go back in and darken any of those areas up, I will be doing the same thing, just darkening the darkest spots. I may even bring a little black in there to get a little more definition, but that is how the um, roses are going to be done. The little babies are it's going to have some red down there and some pink in them. They are small. Just little guys. Tiny bit of white on the top. Boom. And then I'll show you how um, we do the leaves. i got to get the pencils out, so hold on. Okay, i got out <laughs> some pencils to do the leaves with. Um, it's a nice little selection of color here. So we've got um, grass green, spring green, dark sap green, olive brown, moss green, and cat fur on me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Also bring in some olive brown 50%. Um, now we have uh, like three colors down on these with the pan pastels. We did a um, kind of yellowy uh, tip on them, so that's why I got out the spring green. So we can add just a little bit more brightness to the uh, tips. Okay, I'm only going to do a couple of these leaves, then I'll do the rest of them off camera. So we have kind of a blue vein coming down, so we want to get kind of a darker color in there. So we're going to <laughs> bring in some moss green and see how that works. So that gives it a nice darker color. Just kind of lightly bring it out. I'm trying to figure out the veining on this uh, leaf. It's kind of different. <laughs> so we'll darken that up a little. And then of course anywhere that's underneath another petal or something has to be darker. So we'll darken these areas. Okay, then we'll bring in some of the grass green and see what that does. Brighten it up a little. Don't want it too bright though. Back in with the do 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 spring green. And let's see about this sap, dark sap green. See what that does. I'm just playing with colors. I've not really got too many of these color combinations down yet, but that is a nice dark green. So that will darken it up. Even a little more there.
back in with the olive brown. So basically, that is how we're going to do them. We're going to probably use all those colors in there just over and over and over again. And we'll add them up here into the little bud too. I'm not sure which ones to use. That was the spring green and this is the olive uh, 10%. This is the dark sap. And this is the moss green. And then we'll go back in with the spring green. Uh, kind of brighten everything up a little bit there. Okay. If you want to add some, you can throw in some white or whatever else you want to. Add a little lightness to those little guys. Okay, this is what it looks like so far. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a part three. Off camera, I will color the leaves up. And the other little flower here and the little buds that are here. So we'll get the greenery and the uh, flowers finished. And in part three, um, I'll come back and do her hair and any other little touch-ups like a background. If I'm going to do one, I might not depending on that and any touch-ups I have to do on her skin or anything else. So I'm going to let you kind of take a look at her. She's turning out pretty nice. And I will see you in part three. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And thank you for subscribing and liking my videos. I really appreciate it so much. I hope you all have a great day or evening whatever time it is in your zone <laughs> and i will see you in part three take care everyone bye now